right, guys, welcome to another video here at Car Dude Garage. Um, we're going to do the subframe today. I'm not going to do the lower control ones. Reason being is I don't have metal plates to extend them. So I'm just going to do this. Andrew's here. He's going to help. So we're going to go ahead and start finish cutting it and take a section out, move it up, and weld it back together. So he's going to go ahead and start cutting it up. Just follow the line. I think I did that before in school. Alright guys, <laughs> hold on. I know why he's doing that. I forgot I still got that old blade on oh, there. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> so I'm going to change the blade out, guys, and I'll be back. Alright, we're going on the floor, guys. What's the point of a word, man? All right, so we got to cut around here all the way. And if I can flip it over, just cut here, here, some tape. So now I got to measure from where it was cut on the back side and cut it out right around here. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure it so I know where to cut and then cut it. All right, so we measured it and that's the line. So we're gonna go straight across there. And then after it's cut, we'll measure from here up on like over here, then the middle and here and then over, whatever, to make sure it's all straight up before we weld it up. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and cut that. I'm not gonna record it because I mean, just cutting a piece of metal. You guys already seen that. So yeah, we'll catch you guys back here when that is off. All right guys, so that's cut out. Pieces right here. We're gonna clean this up, make it even. <coughs> clean that side of it and the back side of it up. And then on this, we're gonna cut it right there, like in the middle of that orange line. And then that rack will move up to that and then we'll clean up around this and grind it where it needs to clean that up and what the piece we cut off here we'll just put on the bottom and measure it and cut it evenly and weld it back together so drew's gonna go ahead and cut that while i go on the bench grinder up there and clean this up so we're gonna get that going okay so i got it all cut up and tacked weld it there and there and right there I'm gonna go ahead and weld this up and finish welding up on this side of it. So, alright guys, I'm just gonna weld that up real quick. Alright guys, so, so I'll weld it up. I mean, the welds aren't that great, but yeah, they'll do. So, I mean, there's a lot of gap in between a lot of these. So I was trying to fill them all in. So just weld it all there. Just weld it all on the back side. So yep, it's pretty much done. I still gotta take this off. This I think is for like a power steering line or something like that. But I gotta take this off. Grease, grease, degrease. God, I can't even talk. Been welding and grinding for hours. I am beat. 
but yeah take this off degrease it sand it down some prime and paint it so yeah guys not really gonna prime and paint on video and stuff like that because like I mean you see me do the subframe you see me do the, the spindles I mean the same process you're cleaning washing painting so pretty much it guys I'm gonna beat this down so it's more flush but I measured everything before I welded it it's all even so should be good so the front subframes done and the the knuckles are done which are over here so it's coming along I got to get some metal so I can extend the lower control arms and then pretty much the subframe part of it's done like for mods other than like extended control or extended um, tie rods which run maximum inners and S14 outers so but like I said I'm not gonna get any of that until I get the car back in the garage and get this out so this was just to make some videos of stuff for the 240 and to get stuff done on it because I really want to get the car done and this is just a step closer to that so yeah guys that's about it Alright guys, so that's about it. Um, subframe is done. The spindles are done. I got to get metal so I can do the lower control arms. I'm really excited to be doing this stuff. Um, thank you again, Garage Sideways, for motivating me to do this stuff so I can get my shit done so I can be out there slaying the streets and killing all the tires, you know. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I'm glad I'm doing this. I really am. So guys want to see more about this stuff you know like me doing the fab work and trying to do fab work on the car and doing shit like this go ahead and like the video and comment below subscribe for more and we'll see you guys in the next one holy shit i am dirty i've literally been cutting and grinding and welding for hours now i know why people charge so much for angle mods but go ahead and hit the thumbs up guys subscribe for more i'll catch you guys in the next one